what we're talking about here is learning to set up your two-stroke for different weather conditions, different tracks. Um, so we have to start with your basic bike and you've got to start by coming up with a good jetting for the bike by plug reading. Um, once you've done the plug reading on the bike and get a decent setting, then we write down all the information from our weather station. Um, this weather station um, I got from Yamaha when I was doing MotoGP and we used this when we went to new tracks and we didn't have any information. Um, our GP bikes had dead counters, um, cylinder head temperature, exhaust temperature, exhaust pot temperature, um, but we couldn't use any of that data until we'd actually um, done one lap. So what would happen, we'd go there, we would use the reference or the baseline from another track, which we knew, and then we could reference that to the weather conditions, and then we could adjust the um, jetting on the bike to suit uh, the new track we were going to. So it meant the very first session we didn't have a problem with um, seizing the bikes. So Yamaha were good enough to let me have it. Uh, the system works with a wet dry thermometer to do humidity and temperature and also air pressure. Uh, nowadays we do air pressure from the telephone because it's fairly accurate in the place that you're at. I'm not sure if you're familiar with doing plug chops but if you talk to someone who has got a two-stroke uh, they'll, sh they'll be able to help you with doing plug chops to get your initial reading. Um, once you've got a plug chop, you've got your bike running well, you then um, need to write down the data from the weather station info that we've got here. So the weather station system we've got involves this, which is a wet dry thermometer. And the difference between the temperatures, oh, sorry, yeah, the difference between the temperatures on this is um, the humidity in the air. So when these two readings are very close together, it means there's high humidity. When there's a big gap between the wet and the dry, it means it's low humidity. So the other two readings that go with the program that I've got from a Yamaha. And then the other reading is um, our barometric pressure, which as I said, you can get from your telephone. So if you look up on your telephone for somewhere that you're racing, like Mount Gambier, say, uh, you can look up Mount Gambia and look up the air pressure for the day and then the program we've got utilises air pressure and wet and dry temperature. Okay, on the um, this little program, the correction factor program, as I said it's dry temperature, wet temperature and barometric pressure. So if we type in some fictitious figures, we've got 25 we'll put in as our uh, dry temperature, enter it and then we put in 18 as our um, wet temperature, which means we've got a fairly low humidity day. Enter, and then the air pressure, and Mount Gamby approximately, the air pressure down there is say around about 10, 10, 20, we'll put in. Okay, so you'll see we've got a correction factor there of 1.002. So we write that we write that down and we'll just say that the initial reading that we have there is what the day was when you did the jetting on your first jetting on your bike when it was running good. Then um, we can go again and we'll we'll make out we're going to Mount Gambier again. Another we'll go in this time we'll go in winter. Okay, so we start again. We're down to Mount Gambier in winter, so we're gonna be 15 is going to be our dry temperature. We'll make our wet temperature 12. And we'll make our air pressure 1030. Now you see the correction factor is 972, which means with this, with this it means you have to richen up. So with this program, 0 0.020 on the program is one jet size. Okay, so you'll see we had, our first reading was 1002, our second reading 
when it's very cold is 972, which is 0 0.030. And as I said, one jet size, which I'll write down, one jet equals 0 0.020. So you see that one jet is 0 0.020. So here we've got 0 0.30. So if we were starting the day, we would go two jet sizes to be safe because we need to go one and a half jet sizes, as you can see by those numbers. So when you started off, you'd say, right, two jet sizes richer because the new number, the lower number, means that it needs to be richer. If it was a higher number, we would have to go leaner. So I'll do a sample if it was a hotter day. We'll say it's... 32 hot and normally hot days are high humidity so we'll put in 26 wet and air pressure is normally lower so we'll put in 1000 so you can see that the correction factor there is 1.5 zero what's that four nine. four nine okay so when we did our jetting it was 1.002 was our reading when we did the jetting initially so you can see if it was a really hot day with low air pressure from our initial reading there we would have to go two and a half jet sizes leaner so we would go two to be safe and then we do that for our first session, plug chop it, and just confirm that we're correct. This program is a program that gives you um, comparative um, checking. So you do have to have a start point or a baseline, we call that. You've got to have a baseline uh, when you first do it. Um, and then you'd write that down in your notes. And then from then on, every time you go, you can change according to the conditions. But bear in mind that if you make any modifications to your bike, like um, uh, pipes, carbies, uh, porting, anything like that, you've got to reset your baseline. You can't just assume that it's the same as what it was with the old um, configuration of you, your bike. You should be checking the weather station probably every hour during the day at circuits that are near the coast. Any circuit near the coast um, can change dramatically with weather with the wind changing um, one of the one of the big circuits that's a problem for us is Phillip Island because in the morning you can set the um, correction factor and then late afternoon the wind changes direction and comes from the South Pole and suddenly the air pressure goes up and the temperature goes down and there you can seize in the afternoon if you're not keeping an eye on your weather station so you do have to monitor it just have a quick look at it and um, punch in the numbers it's easy to punch the numbers in and just make sure that's not moving and if you do that it just is a safety safety thing for your jetting okay so Andy with this program remember that this is an indicating program it's not a tuning program as such this doesn't help you set your whole bike up but what it does is it makes sure that when you go to a track your jetting is safe you won't have seizures because of incorrect jetting um, but obviously at the track, if you want to fine tune it, there's little things you can do with needles, pilot jet, air screws, things like that. Um, but that's fine tuning. This is just a safety, basically a safety net to keep you in good shape wherever you go.